And we're also looking at zero tolerance, not working for a bully. Find meaningful ways to allow a child who has done cruelty to another child to actually turn that kid's life around. This one is BC. It's a program that was done. This is the, the, you're looking at the kid who is, at this point, the offender, who doesn't look like he's bonded too well, but the poor Noah who's sitting on the floor. But it was a teacher and a principal who said, we've tried everything and it's not working. The teacher said, I'm not giving up on that kid, the bully. Instead, what I'm going to make him do is service learning projects, and he's going to befriend this child, and you want to feel sorry for the five-year-old. But they did learning. They kept it going. They made the child, who's the big bully, keep track of what he was doing and how to bond with the child. Actually, it was rebuilding empathy. About 21 days later, with a photo journal watching this child's relationship, you saw something open up. You saw a change in a child who was a bully because he realized aggression doesn't work, empathy does. But the best part of this whole darn thing was Noah, who pulled us aside and said, I knew he could do it. Some kids, it takes a little while. You just had to give them a little bit of hope, and that's what it's all about.